Hi everyone, Zach Klein from Hit'em Up here. I want to talk to you today about a question we get a lot, and that is, you may have a CSV file, an Excel file, a list of names, and phone numbers that you want to import into Hit'em Up to use with mass texting. And as you know, we currently support Apple Contacts as our primary source for importing groups. And so the question is, how do I get my list into your app? And so it's easy. Uh, the Right here, I got a list of contacts, about a thousand of them, that are just random uh, contacts. And if I just pop this up here, uh, you can see you know they have a first name, a last name, an email address, a company, uh, department, and mobile phone number. So for Hit'em Up, all we need is a mobile phone number, but this is sort of the definitive guide on how to get your contacts into Apple Contacts from an Excel file. The first step you're going to want to do is make sure that you got a header row uh, with you know some defining tags, and we're going to change these later and move them around a bit, as you'll see. But basically, the first row is dedicated to labels uh, for those items underneath them. And so, what you're going to do is go to your file, if you're uh, the file menu, um, and save as uh, a CSV file if you haven't already uh, from your list. And if, you're, if you have a V card, we'll get to that in a little bit. We're eventually going to convert this into what's called a V card and drag it into our Apple Contacts. So I already have that on my desktop here, raw contacts, so I don't need to do this. But if you do, uh, don't have your, your list as a CSV, make sure to choose comma separated values from the dropdown. All right, so I'm going to put this aside for now and bring up my web browser. And what you're going to want to do is go to contacts.google.com and if you haven't used it before it'll look something like this it says you have no contacts yet this is completely blank slate and we're going to use google contacts to convert this file uh, into a v card which we can then move to our icloud uh, account and then onto our iphone into a group which hit them up can automatically see so the first thing we need to do is this is their new layout google's new layout for contacts and unfortunately, it doesn't quite do everything we need from it just yet. So we're going to go to old version at the very bottom here, where it says go to old version, because they currently don't support all the import and export functions that we need. So we're going to go to old version. And here we are, my blank slate. And what we're going to do is make a fake person. So I'm going to click new contact here and give him a name. And we'll call him fake person. And the reason why we're doing this is we need to know what fields Google is expecting. So I'll actually include a file. Uh, if you're reading this on the blog post, you can download it from our blog page there. Uh, but otherwise, you can do the same exact thing and follow along to get uh, something like this. So I'm going to create a work email address and call it uh, fakeperson at apple.com, fake, fake email address. And we're going to do a fake mobile phone number plus one and let's do the Bay Area. Uh, let's see. So let's do. I, I can actually go ahead oop, and put in the five 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 five, and we'll put in a little note just so that we have that field available to us. So here is a note, and I think we want to give this person probably a title and company. So let's say that this person works in the iOS department at Apple, and that makes sense. Okay, so that's all we need to do. We're going to click this button here and go to My Contacts, select this fake person that we just made, and go up here to Export. So we select the person and export this person, and what we want is this Google CSV format uh, export and again I'll provide this uh, as a link if you need it uh, where you can just download a blank one and click export which will then download here so I'm gonna drag this to my desktop for convenience and drag this down so you can see a little better I'm gonna open this up now which should pop it open in Excel all right so as you can see, here is the Google export which we have. And again, I'm going to provide a, a download link to this if you need it. And here you can see the different fields available. You know, here's the name, fake person. 
and it has a given name and family name. So uh, what I'm going to do is leave this person here. I'm just using this to see where I want to paste my values into here so that Google can read them because Google only knows to recognize these top uh, items at the top. So we need to map our data to Google's expectation. And I'll show you how to do that really quickly right now. So I'm going to pull this down and make a little bit of room and open up our raw contacts again. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is come over here and select the people in the first name uh, column and copy them and come here to our given name column and I'm just going to paste that down and give it back the name it originally had given name exactly as it was uh, capital N so now I have all the given names in the given names field and so then here's the family name so that'll be the last name and so I'm going to copy this and remember that it's family name. It's just really easy to just click down and paste like this and type in family name like so. And so now these fields are properly mapped. So we, we have both these people in here and I'm going to delete this fake person because we don't, we actually don't need to fill this uh, first field in the name field that combines these two because Google will automatically understand what to do with these. So, Okay, we have the first name and last name put in under given name and family name. And so the next thing I want to do is put in the emails. So I'm going to get the emails from my data from my raw contacts and scroll over here on my Google field and find where I have uh, my email. So, all right, here's my, my email stuff. So you can see there's actually two fields that uh, Google is expecting here. And it's email with the lowercase m like this with a one, which indicates that it's the first email type. And it has a type, which is a work email, and a value. So we want to paste our email values into the value column. So what we're going to do is paste this down. And so I'm going to copy here, Apple C and or command C if you're on a Windows computer and then Apple V or uh, command V to paste down and so now I have the emails here and I gotta go back and change this to email with a hyphen email one hyphen value okay perfect so now I all these are work emails uh, so I'm gonna take this type which we've already defined from our fake person and just pull it all the way down to the bottom and you can change it to any value you want home work whatever but this is their work emails so I'm gonna go ahead and do this and paste it all the way down just like that so all I did was drag the value all the way down and copied it down so that the email type and values have a work label and an email value Lastly, we have our phone number, and as you can see, there's like some, uh, on my version of Excel, I have a little issue with, uh, it's actually performing some math on the phone number, because it sees the dashes as minuses, like you can see here, this is the, the dashes, and all you have to do to fix that is delete the equal sign, and it fixes it. So, okay, we have phone one dash type, and it's of type mobile, which is perfect, we want the mobile phone numbers for hit them up. Uh, so what we're going to do is come over here to our mobile phone column and copy this down just as we did before. So I just click the F column, Apple C, Command C uh, if you're on Windows, and then Apple V that down. And then I'm going to go back and put in phone one, oh, phone one dash value exactly as it was written by Google. So that's all you got to do. And then I'm going to pull this mobile tag all the way down, just as we did with the email address. And you can add more, by the way. If you do phone two exactly in the same format, Google will understand. But then you have to give it a label, just as we've done, and add a column. Uh, so that's why we make the dummy data, to make it really easy to see where we want to line stuff up. All right, so last over here, we got organization. Here's uh, Apple. And so 
I'm going to copy my company column here and follow the same format again. So I'm going to paste this down and then it was organization, organization one. Beautiful. Okay. So now we have what Google's expecting for the company. And here we have the department. Uh, this it came under title, but uh, here I want the department information. So I'm going to go here to department and copy this down like this. Organization one title. And give it the proper heading. Organization one title and of course you can actually go down and uh, copy it to this from the second row on and not have to retype it but you know this is just for me a little faster with this version of Excel because it gives me some problems alright so anyway that's all we needed to do we have all our fields properly mapped now so I'm gonna save this Google file uh, so I'm gonna go file save as and I'm going to call this uh, Google Import of Raw Contacts. You can name it whatever you want. Just make sure that it's a comma separated value and save it to the wherever you like. I'm going to save it to the desktop. And I'm going to quit Excel now because we don't need it anymore. Okay, great. So here is the file that we just created. And I'm going to open up my uh, web browser here to Google contacts again and I'm going to delete my fake person because we don't need him anymore so he's gone and what we're going to do is click import contacts now and it says please choose a CSV or V card file to upload so if you have Outlook uh, or Outlook Express or Yahoo Mail or you're trying to import from one of these uh, sources and you're joining us for that just take the file export from those programs now and you can upload there so uh, this is for people who have a file like an Excel file that want to upload so if you're just joining us now go ahead and uh, upload that file so I'm going to drag in this Google import of raw contacts and click import and it might take a second here so you can see it kind of lags but if I manually refresh the page usually this will do it um, okay so we have one person in here but yeah, here's our import from 11-21-17. That's today's date. So I click this import. Uh, and so, yeah, here's, uh, I wish I could expand this out so you can see, but I think all thousand of my, my folks are in here. And that's exactly what we want. So now Google, if we click on one of these people, has their email address, mobile phone number properly filled out, their department, uh, specialty retail, uh, retail stores, it's exactly mapped the way that I wanted. You can map it however you want. As you saw, you had the full option of all the different fields. So I'm going to go back to my import here and select all. So everybody's now selected. And then I'm going to go to um, more up at the top and then export. And so great, this is perfect. Uh, I actually want to export all these people, the full thousand from this import right here. So I'm going to select that, and instead of a Google CSV format, I want a V card, as it says, for importing into Apple Address Book or another application. So we're going to import into Apple Address Book because that's what Hit'em Up uses and what iCloud uses. So I'm going to click Export, and I'm going to get this nice contacts download here. Drag that to my desktop for convenience so you can see everything. So great, here we are. This is our... Apple import V card. So th this is exactly what we want. And so when we go to iCloud now, here's my iCloud account. So I'm going to sign into iCloud. And this will work on both Mac and PC. So if you have a Mac, you can also go from this thing into your contacts application. But we're going to go through the, the web front because everybody can follow along who has an iPhone. So it's really, really easy now. I'm going to go here to my contacts and just take this thing and drag and drop. I just
dragged it in and dropped it. And at the bottom here, you could have seen for just a quick second that it was importing. And now I have all these people imported. Uh, and so the cool thing is now they're selected and I can click this button that says create group. Now I could, what, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete it and show it again. So I'm gonna delete everybody, all thousand people. And I'm gonna actually now create a group before I import. So I'm gonna create a group called hit em up sender list. And now I'm inside this group and it says empty group. And instead of just going, oh, disappeared on me. Hit em up sender group. Okay. So now I have the group set up uh, empty and instead of dragging into the all contacts tab, I'm going to import directly into hit em up sender group. So that way hit em up will see all these people and automatically import them as its own group. So here you see it's importing and all the people are now inside uh, this group. And this is really cool because when you go onto your iPhone, uh, you can actually hide this group from uh, being seen. So now all these people are imported. So if I go over to my iPhone, which I have over here running, um, here's my uh, iCloud. It's signed into the same account as we are uh, on iCloud there. So if I go here, we should be able to, it's asking me for my password. So got to hide it from view. Okay, that should work. So yeah, I have uh, iCloud syncing with contacts. You wanna make sure that your iCloud settings are syncing with contacts. And this might look different from you because I'm using a simulator here rather than the real device. But uh, essentially you wanna go to your iCloud settings on your phone. Uh, you can't see that on here uh, exactly the same way as it shows up for you. But this is, cause this is a limited, demo, but it should uh, be syncing. So if I go out of here, I should have, sorry, contacts, open up my contacts. Now you're going to have this. So here are all my contacts sunk as we had, but here's the really cool thing on your iPhone. Here's our hit em up sender group. I can actually uncheck this one. So if I do all iCloud groups and uncheck this, I can keep everything but this group. So even though hit em up can see this group, uh, it'll show up and disappear from your contacts. So if you don't want to make your uh, normal contacts that you use on your phone mixed up with your, your imported group, you can actually go to this groups tab and hide it on your phone. So I'm going to actually put them all back and here are all my people. And if I click on one of them, awesome. Uh, here's, you know, uh, Madeline who goes to Stanford apparently. Um, I'm a Berkeley fan myself, but uh, yeah, she her, her mobile phone number's here, and if we go to, to hit him up, it should automatically sync with this group. So if we go here to groups, let's just check out and see after it syncs all thousand of our, our contacts. Yeah, it doesn't usually work on the simulator, but we can double check and make sure. Okay, yeah, we had to manually override it. So... We go to import contact groups, uh, contact book groups, and just like that, all thousand of our contacts are inside hit em up, ready to be used and to send to. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, it's the ultimate walkthrough. We get a lot of requests for it, and I know that um, it's a tricky, complicated process, and the best way to show you was as I did. So, you know, happy sending, and we look forward to showing you a lot more cool stuff to come. So get excited. We got some really cool things in the works. Thanks.